Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, this is uh, Gabriele Zimmer, president of the left group GUE NGL in the European Parliament. Uh, we start with a statement and then you can ask questions. Yeah. Um, good morning to, to all of you. Uh, I would like to, to express my position as the president of the left group inside the parliament concerning the Brexit. Um, for, for us, this outcome of the referendum is not so astonishment, uh, but um, of course, we had a other preparation for it. Um, we are looking to our friends and our comrades, especially in the north of Ireland. Uh, you know that members in our group are from Sinn Féin, uh, and that's why we know that the outcome in Scotland and also in, in uh, the north of Ireland is very, very complicated. And um, we are supporting our comrades in the north of Ireland to say we are now looking for a next referendum to say the government in, in London has not to govern about our membership in the European Union. We want to stay in the European Union. Uh, this is one point I would like to express. The next point is uh, that um, when we heard today in the conference of the president, um, the speech by David Cameron, um, I was very astonished about it, uh, that he, he is also responsible for this reaction, for this kind of referendum, to misuse the instrument of a dem this democratic instrument of a referendum for a political fight of power inside his own party and in his government, that he, he is responsible for this, that he is saying, now, European Union, you have to wait till October, till the moment when the party congress of the Tories decided about the new party leader and uh, the prime minister, then we will start the process to leave the European Union. And I think this is a po dirty political game. I think he would like to get more time uh, to find another solution. And I think it's a game to play with the outcome of the referendum. And if we, the European Union, would accept this kind of game, we would lose credibility also among the people in the other member states. We have to respect the outcome of the referendum. If you are in favor or not, we have to re respect it. And we have not to, to allow that uh, David Cameron can play with the European Union. And in this way, I would like, like to ask the other institutions, the Commission and also the Council, only to wait till the next Council uh, will be organized. And if on, in this moment, uh, the notification of the Brexit is not announced by the British government, then to count the date of the referendum yesterday and that we start from this moment with a negotiation about the leave of the European Union. I think there is no other solution. We have to be fair, but we have to be clear. We have rules, and we have to use these rules also for the organizing of a Brexit, of a leave of the European Union. And the third point I would like to raise, of course, the Brexit, it's not only an issue where we can say, okay, this is a decision by the British people and it's not concerning us as the European Union. If we will not react on it, if we will not look why people in member states are in, not or often are criticizing the European Union, are complaining about the democratic def deficit, about the lack of social union, if we not look on this, the Brexit could be uh, the driver force for a process of erosion inside the Union. We don't want it, but we have to react. Because not a state, not a Union has the, um, has the right or the of, of, uh, of, um, that, that it's a law to exist. We have every day to fight for this union. We have to do it and not to put away this decision and saying it's not so strong for us. It's strong. It's strong. 
and to, to bring the European Union forward as, an, as our own and common project needs that we win the people back for the Union. Thank you very much. And I would like to give you the floor, two or three questions. Yes. Können Sie bitte erklären, was es für einen Unterschied macht, ob die Verhandlungen zum Austritt jetzt gleich mit dem Gipfel beginnen oder erst im Oktober? Das macht einen, das macht einen gravierenden Unterschied. Zum einen habe ich den Eindruck, dass mit dieser Zeitverzögerung, Entschuldigung, Englisch, you ask if there is a difference um, to start with the negotiation process to leave the Union now or in October, in five, four months. Uh, of course there is a difference. If you would like to, um, to postpone it and to find or to, 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 to win time, you need this four months. Because my feeling is that there are two options in, uh, in the thinking of uh, Cameron. First, to check if you could get a majority inside uh, the British Parliament. Uh, they are saying two-thirds of the British parliamentarians are in favor to remain in the European Union. And then to say the Brexit, the referendum, could be only an advising referendum for the parliamentarians. And the second could be to, to say we should try to, to get another referendum, a second referendum. And I think these two options are not okay are not okay. I'm not in favor that, the, that Great Britain will leave the European Union, but it was said before in, in whole clarity, uh, if they decide there will be all consequences and we can't do so that the British people didn't vote about it. It was a high participation of people, of voters in this referendum and we have to accept it. I think one of the main problems inside this um, referendum are, are two, two things. We have a division between England, Wales on one side, and on the other side, Scotland and Ireland, and we have a division between the generations. If it is true that uh, more than 70% of the young people in, in the age till 24 years uh, voted to remain in the European Union, then it's clear that it's a decision against the younger generation. Otherwise, this could be also a signal that inside the member states, the young generation has another position and that we have to, to verify and to, to check very clearly what are the different complaints, what are the hopes for the people also in the member states to, to change the European Union and to to bring forward the project of, his, of, um, of a European integration in solidarity, as a social integration, as an economical integration, as an ecological integration, as a democratic federal union. Next question, please. Um, you were talking there about uh, Sinn Féin. You said that you're looking to the next referendum in Northern Ireland. You talked about division in the UK. So are you looking towards the breakup of the United Kingdom? I think so. They told in, in their own press release that they will not accept that in this moment against the majority in, in, in the north of Ireland that uh, London will now govern and to decide about them that they have also to leave the European Union. And it's clear, I can understand it. If you imagine that now between the Republic of Ireland and uh, the north of Ireland will be created uh, the external border of the EU with, with all the consequences. What does it mean? This is um, a very hard, um, hard move, uh, moment for the peace process also in the north of Ireland. And we have to be aware of it. Any other question? In Schön for La Croix, you told us that you wanted a new Europe, basically. Uh, what concrete elements would you see for that new version of the European Union? Um, in the Conference of Presidents now, uh, the majority of the group presidents said we are now only speaking about the process um, to uh, how uh, this, this process of 
uh, how the, the British people, the British country should leave the EU. But I think in the same moment we have also to discuss about, um, yeah, I, I would like to say uh, um, about how we want to reorganize organize the European Union. And uh, of course, we all know there is a lack also between the different instruments. There are problems between the different institutions inside the EU, but the main problem is we need also, also a social component of the European Union. We need was what uh, Juncker uh, promised in the beginning of uh, this period, saying uh, we will get a triple social A for the European Union and the social pillar for the European Union. And now we see that the Commission is not able to, to do it in a real way because the construction of the European Union has a lot of problems and we have to, to go on the ground and we have to reorganize this European Union in the interest of the people. We have to, to, to bring them the advantage from the European Union as a federal union and not to say now that we need um, political uh, a deeper political integration on the base of this, what we have now. Then we will only create new problems. I think we have to, to bring in order to, uh, to renew our European Union and then also to, 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 to ask the people in which ways they would like to organize this, this union. This could be our future. And we have also to hear on the young generation. It's the life of the young generation we, de we are deciding about. And uh, that's why I think it's necessary to discuss with them what they want, how, uh, what uh, is their perception for a European Union, what is their vision, and, and plan to build it up together. Hmm? Any last question? Yeah, okay. Please. Have you also discussed in the Conference of Presidents what is going to happen with more than one million European citizens living now in Great Britain and working in Great Britain? Um, we, we didn't discuss about it, but uh, it was raised um, that uh, it's necessary also to protect, to find rules, to find the uh, conditions to protect these people. Um, and this is only one part of uh, the whole um, palette of, of, of different um, issues we have to clarify. And it, because it's the first time that a member state is saying we will leave the European Union, uh, a lot of uh, the concrete processes are not uh, foreseen, but, but, um, are not uh, clarified, and we have to work together. But what's uh, important for us is that we as a European Parliament Will, will be involved in the process, in the leave process, um, that we have also to vote about it, and also to, to be, that we are able to participate in, in this process, because uh, we know about a lot of such implications uh, of the Brexit decision uh, now. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you very much. <laughs>